Oh my god, there was already two people on the live. Hi, good morning. Let me just have a mint real quick because I feel like, you know when you brush your teeth in the morning, but you haven't really ate anything, so your breath doesn't stink, but it just has like that, I don't know, like, like stagnant taste. So you just want to switch up the flavors in your mouth. So I'm just chewing on a gum real quick. Ew, I feel like y'all mad close to me. You know what I'm saying? So I wore the same outfit as I did yesterday. I'm probably not going to wear this outfit. I have a lot to do today. I have a lot of errands to do today, guys. Okay, so right now, I, here's my logic, right? I'm like, okay, Michelle, you have a long list of things that you have to do today. You have to do them today. I have a long list. And I was like, I woke up this morning with anxiety. I was like, oh my God, I have so much to do today. How am I going to get it done? Why is this happening? But you know what? I, ha I have to work through the chaos. And I decided to really, really ground myself this morning. I was disciplined. I went on my walk. And it was, it was, it was wonderful, honestly. I'm really grateful that I went on that walk. It really was necessary. And now I'm going to sit down and I am going to do my makeup because I really need that inspiration to feel like, you know, like sometimes when you feel like, oh, hello, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Let me know. Okay, y'all hear me. Okay, good. So, I'm like, you know, I have a million reasons as to why I um, I can't or I don't have time and I shouldn't waste time. But sometimes when you feel overwhelmed, it's nice to look in the mirror or, or remind yourself, okay, it's not all bad. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to do the makeup look that I did yesterday, that like retro 80s type of look. And um, I just think it will be fun. And also, I want to tell you the story time. I had a dream. And I don't want to forget the dream, so I want to document it. And honestly, like, YouTube has been sort of like my video diary. So, I've already washed my face, right? So, I'm going to use my rose water toner to prep my skin out. <gasps> oh, my God. Why did that happen? All right. Okay. Are we no? Oh wow. Why does this happen so frequently? All right. Oh no. Oh, I see what's oh. oh wow. I see what's happening. All right. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Yes, I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to use the rose water toner and I'm going to spray it on my face. And I'm going to let that absorb and dry in. So I had a dream, right? And it was like, okay, so I shared the first time I had a dream about my future husband, right? I've shared that before. And... It was when I finally had a house and this, that, and the third, right? So I feel like the universe is showing me like alternate, alternate possibilities for my future. Because this dream about my husband, which is the second dream I've ever had about my husband or whatever the case may be in my future, this one looked mad different. Like mad, mad different. So the first one in my dream, he was African, but he was from London, right? And I remember that in distinctively in the dream. I remember what he looked like. I remember his voice. Like I remembered everything. So this guy was completely different. And I was like, ooh, like is the universe giving me a switch up? Is it giving me like a remix? So now that that's dried a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use the game changing, the game changing Fenty Skin SPF tinted moisturizer and i'm gonna put that on my skin because you have to protect yourself from the sun mm. and always remember to pull up pull always up all right 
right? Now that you have that, esperate, esperate, esperate. Oh no, it was in here. Oh, it's here, it's here. Oh, are you kidding me right now? How did that just happen? All right, so we're gonna skip that step. I wanted to use the jade roller, but the top came off and I don't know how that just happened. So I'm gonna use this Youth Face Serum. It's tea tree oil and hemp oil, right? And I'm gonna use this Bye Bye Foundation by It's Cosmetic. It's matte old. Um, Oil-free matte sunscreen SPF 50 in the color medium tan. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take one and a half pumps right there. Cause I like my freckles to show through. So I don't wear a lot of foundation. All right, so this is how the dream started. So now in this dream, right? I basically bought a house. Like I, okay, so this is how my life started, right? So in the dream, I made this transition and I moved to a next location, right? Once I got to that location, I started to do as usual, making my story times on YouTube, talking about what I'm going through, how I'm feeling. Everything was going as normal and everything felt real. You know, the house of realness was still coming together. I was elevating my game on TikTok. I was really putting a new forth in effort and really like focusing on that in the dream. So then once I did that, Yo, I got the phone call. It wasn't even a phone call. First of all, it was a DM. It was a DM. In the middle of the night, I got a DM. And it was from Bad Girl Riri. And I was like, you is lying. 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 I cannot believe this is, this is not real. This is not real. And I'm like, this is a fake account. This is a robot account. It has the verification, you know, the check mark. I'm like, okay, this is a lie. This is a lie. This is not really real. It's not happening. So I open it and it was like, Remember when you made that wish on the star? Well, baby, it's your time because you are the next Fenty ambassador. Oh my God. Yo, I got flued out my whole life change. I put a couple of drops of the hemp oil in the foundation because I wanted a dewy look, okay? Sorry, I should have explained that. But basically, like, my life changed instantly like that. Like, instantly. So, whatever, right? So, my life changed. I wrote a book. I was doing seminars. I was doing Zoom tours. I was traveling the world. I was getting booked and busy as a model. I was on Vogue. Like, I was on Vogue in different countries. Like, honestly, I was on Vogue Japan. I was on Vogue Brazil. And I was on please please do not even come for me i was on french vogue oh my god so whatever right hold on let me pull out my mirror because i'm gonna um i'm gonna forget so whatever my life changed and i became a model like a model a model can you believe me me a model or whatever but i was getting booked and busy and i was enjoying the moment so i finally saved up enough money and i bought this house in the middle of the woods right so it was in the middle of the woods. I'm just taking this little Real Technique sponge and I'm just gonna buff it into my skin. So whatever, right? Um, My life changed. So I saved up enough money and I bought a house in the woods. And it wasn't even like, it wasn't like no average house. It was a grand house. Like it had levels. And in the house, in the middle of the house, there was like this like green room with a tree growing in the middle of the house. And that's the house I want. I want to live in a house where the inside of the house, in the middle of the house, there's a tree growing in the middle of the house. I don't know how that could be humanly and sound structural because like if that tree ever falls down but i would love to live in that sort of situation right so that's the type of house that i bought and i was living in it right so uh, surrounding my house i was single i was single so surrounding my house i'm looking at the mirror down there if you're curious so surrounding my house basically um there was a whole bunch of forests right because that's what i like i like to see a lot of trees right so there was a whole bunch of forests right 
and beyond the forest because i had a lot of land on this property so beyond the forest i used to go in the forest and i used to look for berries and i had a lot of lemon trees and just a whole bunch of different stuff in the forest or whatever the case may be so i was like scounging for like uh mushrooms or scourging or i don't know what you call that whatever i was foraging for um mushrooms in the forest because i was looking for the chicken of the forest mushroom because i want to make a recipe with that right so whatever right i was in the forest looking for mushrooms and i so happened to come across my neighbor right so i'd never met my neighbor because mind you i just bought this house and i was like living my fantasy in the forest and i was okay because i had two dogs at that time and i had a cat right i came back and i got milky way later on in life right and Milky Way was so glued up. Like, Milky Way, like, literally had a satin pillow, was sitting so pretty, and, like, honestly was retiring like a fat cat. And I was living for it. Like, Milky Way, oh, wow, 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 whatever, right? So, basically, um, I look over, and I hear somebody, right, in the bushes. And I look over, and it's somebody's house. It's my neighbor's house. And it's this guy, right? So, let me describe to you what he looked like. He had on a he had on a button up shirt, right? He had on a button up shirt, but the top button was open. He had on a like a light, but not like a light beige. It was not really khaki color, but it wasn't caramel. It was in between. It was like that desert sand type of color beige in a khaki like that type of like sweater. And then he had on like these dark jeans and then he had on these like um almost like they were like pull up boots but the pants were over them and he was pulling he had like this cage right he was pulling something out of a cage and I was being nosy, right? So I was looking at what he was doing because I was in the bushes, right? And he didn't see me, whatever. Or at least I thought he didn't see me or whatever. So basically, he um he was pulling something out of a crate, right? And this it was like this long white crate that was like like almost made of chicken wire and and, and painted white wood, and it was long, and it it went like on a like a long, long, almost like, I don't know. It just looked like an elongated cage or whatever the case may be. So when he pulled, you know what he pulled out? You know what animal he pulled out? Take a wild guess what he pulled out of the crate. Oh my God, let me finish telling you what he looks like because I only told you what his outfit looked like. All right, so basically he was tall. He was like Nordic tall. Like he was like six, five, probably like six, six. I don't know at that moment, but he was tall and you could tell by his shoulders because the way his shoulders looked in the cardigan that he had a lot of shoulder definition and you could tell you ever seen that type of golden color where it's not necessarily white, white, but it's like that golden white. So you know that he's not going to have like fully pink areolas is gonna be like a little darkish of the areolas or whatever the case may be so whatever he had that type of skin color and then he had like this beautiful like it was it had like a part on the side and he had like a little bit of a fade so you could tell that he was like a little like not like that polished white boy type of look and then he had the hair swooped over and then he had it fans back real like like very tousled and it was like this ash like ash blonde and he had like brown eyes but they were not your average brown eyes they were not like caca brown eyes like my brown eyes they were like golden like not like honey but like a dark honey like a molasses like it was beautiful golden brown dark eyes or whatever the case may be and he had on glasses right like he had on like the um superman glasses you know like the clark kent but like a little more like a smaller frame or whatever the case may be right and i could tell by his smile that like he had teeth that like these two teeth right here were a little shorter than the two front teeth or whatever. So it gave him like a youthful smile to his teeth. And he had like very plump, voluptuous lips. And ooh, he had a very defined jaw. And you can see like in the back right here, the definition of his jawline. 
Oh, he had a really handsome face in his hands. His hands were big. Like you could tell by the knuckles that he probably would like did some boxing or something like that. And he had callus because when he picked up this animal, I couldn't believe what he was picking up. He picked up this big hairy rabbit. You know those type of rabbits that have the big fluffy, fluffy ears that are like really, really hairy and stuff and they're big? He pulled out one of those rabbits out of the cage, right? Out of the cage. Oh my God, I forgot to do my makeup. Ah, I forgot to do my makeup. Forget about it. All right, let me not let let me not, let me not talk about this dream no more, basically. All right, so to increase the SPF, I have this Peter Thomas Ross um, UVA and UBE, UBB Sun Protection Powder Instant Mineral. I'm gonna take a couple of dabs on the back of my hand to get the product pumping and then i'm going to press that into my foundation to you know really really add in i want triple 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 spf so listen right so he pulled out this big rabbit and it was gray with floppy ears and it was huge it was this huge rabbit and it was fluffy and i was like i instantly did this i was like oh my god that rabbit is so cute and then he looked and, he, and i was like oh my god girl you in the bushes so i started running 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 he came out and he was like going through the forest looking for me and i felt like honestly like it felt like a fairy tale like i was running through the forest and that was prince charming coming after me and you know me i'm always wearing dresses right so me being como una sangana i was like you know what i want to go through the forest with my basket and forage for mushrooms i'm gonna wear like this flowy dress it's going to be very whimsical, very Alice in Wonderland, very couture. I want it to be long and flowy. I want it to drape on the floor. Like I was giving full fantasy, full fantasy to go through the forest because I was trying to be cute or whatever. So now I'm running through the forest with this flowy dress and it's getting hooked on the bushes and it tears a piece of the dress because the dress was made of cotton and it had designs on it, right? And it was very, very flowy and it ripped on the bush and I managed to pull it off and it ripped off and I ran away and in the back of the corner of my eye when I flipped over I saw him stopping and pulling out of the bushes that fabric and then he pulled it up and he was like hey and I kept on running away so once I got to the house ooh, 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 this is juicy this this juicy oh my god juicy oh my god juicy all right let me stop let me stop because I'm gonna get out of hands and I'm never gonna finish my makeup and I have a lot to do and you guys be pulling it out of me I don't know why y'all be pulling it out of me y'all be making me want to talk so much about the story and go into the details do y'all like my details oh my god I do too much, right? I be doing too much even in my dreams, probably, is what y'all saying. Oh, my God, I'm so over it. I think that my mind is just craving, like, fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stop, 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 stop. So, whatever, right? Ah! So, I got to the house, right? I got to the house, and I got nervous because I was like... Oh my God, he saw me. So he knows I live real close. And I don't even know if he likes this. Whatever, I don't know. So whatever. Um. So I ran into the house and I got scared and I locked all the doors and I closed all the curtains because in my house, I had like floor to ceiling windows that were open because I wanted a very open concept to this house. So I had this button on all the walls and I was pushing all the buttons so all the curtains could close because I was like, oh my God, I have to hide because I know that he's going to put two and two together and he's going to know that I live over here and he's going to be like, mira, que tu estabas haciendo ahí en mi casa? And I'm going to be like, look, papi, I don't even know. I don't even know. I was looking for chicken of the mushrooms. Yo no sé que cuando. I don't know what I was trying to do, but I was not trying to run up on you. So please don't be coming over here with that hostility and that's on period because I'm going to have to get my taser and my brass knuckles and we about to fight. I don't care if you taller than me or whatever the case may Maybe don't think that I'm gonna go out without a fight or whatever the case may be. So now I'm really preparing for the worst, right? I'm preparing for the worst in my house, and I'm like, oh my god. So basically, I'm gonna take this bronzer palette by Too Faced, and it was gifted to me by a House of Realness member. And basically, I'm gonna go into the color Sun Bunny. Ew, look, ironic. My favorite color is Sun Bunny. 
Ew, and he had a bunny. What do you call those type of bunnies that are big like that? Ew, I'm so over my life right now. I'm going to create a cheek and just do like that. Once I create that line, I'm going to buff it out later. But I like to make my forehead look a little slender. I like to make my forehead look a little slender. So I'm going to go back into the, the sun bunny and I'm going to like, look, I'm going to drag the contour, but only in the back part of my cheek a little higher then drag it, drag it, drag it like that. You see that? I'm going to drag it and then I'm going to finish and contour it up to here. Like literally half of my forehead is going to be brown because I feel like my forehead is like a little biggish. So I try to make my forehead look as petite as possible. Then I'm going to dip back into the sun bunny again. And I am going to go on the other side. And I'm going to contour a little higher on the cheekbone. And then I'm going to drag it up to my forehead. And then contour it. You know what I'm saying? And because I have curly hair, I just feel like I can get away with it. Um, I don't know if this type of technique will work if you have straight hair or whatever because i feel like it just blends in with the curls or whatever the case may be and it looks like i'm going heavy-handed but it's not really that heavy i promise you so so i really enjoy the features of my nose like honestly i love that my nose is what kind of like like when I look at my nose, it's a blended mix of my mother's middle part and then my father's nostrils. Like I feel like my nose is what connects me to my family. So I like to embrace my nose. So I don't really do a contour. What I sort of do is, is that I like to emphasize the width of my nose because I feel like the fact that my nose isn't so slender really brings something different and unique to my face. So I like to really, really enforce that and embrace that feature that defined feature on me um so i take again with the snow bunny and then i just go down with this big brush just down the whole sides of my nose like that right like that and then i bring it up to the eyebrow i know this sounds weird but i bring it up to the eyebrow Cause I want all of this to look, you know, I want to emphasize that with, and then I go to the tip and that's it. That's all I do to my face and my nose. And if I feel like I don't have enough contour, you always read dip, but you start off light so that you don't go heavy with the hands. All right. Right. And now on days where I wear a turtleneck, because you're not going to really see my neck, I'm going to go down here. And then bring it down. So here and then bring it down because I'm trying to contour my chin and my jawline. And then that's it. That's it. That's all I do. Right? So now basically after we do that, I'm going to take this vitamin C mist. And I'm going to bring some life back to my face because I like a dewy look. Right? So basically I run into the house. Don't think I forgot. I run into the house because now I'm scared because he sees me. Right? So I'm like, cool, everything's fine. I'm post mating, I'm cooking in my house or whatever the case may be. And I'm putting everything in order and I'm putting away stuff that I've accumulated. And in my house, in the living room, what I want is I want, I want shelves, like a big, big book, like, um, what do you call that? A bookcase built from like ceiling to floor. And then in little cubicles, I want to put like frame stuff from like the stuff that I've accumulated from the house of realness so that I can have a living wall installation of stuff from the house of realness. Right? So that's how I envisioned it in my dream. And I was on the ladder because it had like this long ladder that you had to climb up and it would move if, so you could put the stuff in the cubicles. Right? So that's what I was doing. And I had the fireplace burning because it was out in the woods and it was up in the mountains and it was cool. And around eight o'clock I get a ding dong on my door. I get a ding dong on my door and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. ¿Quién es eso ahí en mi puerta? So I have this like cheeker stain 
in this color peach. It's like a cheeker stain. I don't know how do you call that, whatever. It came as the sample. So I'm going to put some in the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to do three dots. But this is how I like to do blush. I like to do blush higher than usual. And let me tell you why. These are the three dots that I like to do for my blush. And the reason why I do my blush so high on my cheekbones is because it gives your face and a cheek a facelift just with this technique alone, okay? So on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. If you ever wanted to just try something new, just do it like this. Right? So this is your blush now. Right? Now you're going to take your beauty blender or your whatever you call it, your sponge. You're going to spray it with that dewy mist. And then you're going to buff that. I know you guys can't see it because it's pretty dewy right now, but. So look. Okay. There you go. All right. And then whatever's left over, you just take on the back of that. And you bring it a little lower. It's all about building color. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to put as much. You want to build the color up. You don't want to put a lot. And then you blend it away. Oh, no. Don't think I forgot about the story. I'm just focusing on my blush right now. You you can go very fast into clown. You could go very fast into clown. And you don't want to cross that clown like bridge. So now I need to wipe this off. Hold on. Let me wipe off my hand because you don't want to make any mistakes for your future makeup. So I get a ding dong on the door. Guess who? So I had this security system that basically you could see on camera. So guess who I see at the door? But now he's not wearing the same outfit. So now he's not wearing the same outfit. This time he's wearing like, okay. So he's wearing like almost, it looked like a members only jacket. But you could see that he had like, uh um that blue shirt like it's like a blue button up shirt but it has the white collar you could tell that he had that and then he had on some dark wash jeans and then he had on some like camel tan shoes and he looked real spiffy and he had something in his hand and i was like oh my god it's the guy with the bunny it's the guy with the bunny oh my god it's the guy with the bunny and i'm mad mad nervous so now i'm like oh my god literally I was in basketball shorts that I had high-waisted with a crop top with my hair looking all crazy with my hoop earrings. And I had like no makeup on, like no makeup. And I'm like, oh my God, this man is going to catch me. Mind you, I was cooking. I was already cooking. So at this point, the food is there. The food is there. And I know that once I open the door, the food is going to waft in the house or whatever the case may be. 
So I have no time because I'm cooking. I have no time to run upstairs and change. I have to stay exactly the way I was at and literally answer the door. I had to answer the door with high-waisted everything. It was tragic. It was tragic. And I was like, hello? And he had like an accent, but it was like weird. <sighs> So later on, I found out that he was from New Zealand. He was from New Zealand. But he had like an accent. I can't really pinpoint the accent, but the accent was sexy, right? So whatever. He introduces his name. And he, says his, he tells me his name is like Charles. And I'm like, okay, so your name is Charles. And he had a pie. He had a wild berry pie, right? What's happening? Okay, so some of y'all hearing me, right? So he baked a wild berry pie. And he was like, I didn't know that anybody moved into this house right here. And I was like, yeah, I literally just moved in. I was cooking dinner. He was like, oh, so that's that lovely smell I smell. And I felt like that weird, like he was like kind of moving his body in towards the door. And I was like nervous because I had my body half toward, like half covered on the door or whatever. And I was like, ooh, is the neighborly thing to do to let him in? Like, should I be inviting him in? I don't know him. He has a wild berry pie in his hand. He seems nice. He's very good looking, but I look like a bum. What do I do? I have security. This is a gated community. It's very secure. Like you have to have a bank account of a certain weight in order to live in this community. Like I had worked enough to get that. And I was like, okay, so maybe I can trust it, but I don't know. So whatever, I was like, would you like to come in? He was like, you don't really seem too thrilled about it the way you're saying it. And I was like, no, it's okay. Um, sorry about my appearance. And I opened the door wide and I let him in my house. Why did I do that? So he, so I was like, I'll take the pie from you. And he was like, well, it's actually fresh off the oven. I was going to tell you it has to cool. Um, let me take it. I don't want you to burn your hands. And I was like, okay, I'll walk you to the kitchen. So I closed the door behind him and I led him to the kitchen and I was like, oh my God, Michelle, you're meeting this guy for the first time. Mind you, mind you, now you know when you have that pit in your stomach feeling where you're like, when is he going to bring up the fact that you were caught creeping in his property or whatever the case may be? Like I knew that that moment was going to come between me and him because I knew that I was snooping through the bushes is looking at him and this that, and a third so I was mad nervous or whatever the case may be so I was trying to act like everything was cool like I was like okay maybe he didn't see me or whatever the case may be but I'm like he saw me he saw me he saw me let me tell you the dream let me tell you the dream let me tell you the dream all right so boom I lead him into the kitchen and my kitchen was mad big mad mad big I had everything custom built in that kitchen. I wanted, um, you know, a farmer sink where it's like a big sink. I wanted that casted in gold. I wanted a gold custom carved hood above my, um, my, um, like, um, burners, like my stove top. I wanted this hand carved art like it was almost like it was like a victorian carved like it had like naked bodies like um almost like romanticism art if you know that style of art very renaissance it had it carved in gold it was everything custom i had gold faucets like i had that spigot that comes out for the pot filler for the water over the stove like i had an island that was marble i had um the kitchen was painted like a a hunter green with gold leafing like it was a marvelous marvelous and i had like um a jungle theme in the kitchen right like it was beautiful so he was mesmerized he went into my kitchen and he was like i've never seen a kitchen like this and i was like 
I know it's a little eccentric and it's a little over the top, but I feel like the kitchen is the heart of the home. And honestly, the kitchen is where I have some of my fondest memories. And I love to entertain and I wanted to take people's breath away when they got to see this kitchen, if they ever did. And he was like, well, job well done because you took my breath away. And I was, I got like a little blushy and I had no makeup on, so I couldn't hide it. So I got like really, really embarrassed and I put my head down and he was like, you look cute when you're all flushed. And I was like, this man said I was cute. This man said, oh, the makeup, the makeup, the makeup. Guys, you guys get me so intense. Stop, don't do this to me. I'll, I'll get off a of trap. I was not expecting that to happen. All of that happened in the blink of an eye. Wow. All right, hold on. Let me fix the camera setup first. All right. This video was 35 minutes. Oh my God, I'm done. I'm done, I can't do this. I'm terrible. I'm terrible with time management. I just get in front of the camera and I will talk your ear off. That's probably why people don't got time for me no more. They're like, uh-uh, girl, you just be doing way too much. We don't have time for all that. People got lives and they got things to do, girl. So you be doing way too much for me. All right, so I totally forgot that I was doing my makeup and this was supposed to be a makeup tutorial, but... um. We here for the long videos. No, guys. <laughs> I need to be more like, I need to be more organized with not making long videos. I do. Y'all say that y'all like them, but like. <sighs> so listen, I'm going to take the James Charles palette. <sighs> do y'all guys hear me? Do y'all guys hear me? Okay. So I'm going to dip it to the pink. You see how pigmented that is? And I'm going to, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the middle of my crease. And I'm gonna sort of paint out a roundish shape. And then I'm gonna buff that out. Now, the reason why I felt like I couldn't really, or why I didn't feel confident doing a makeup tutorial, y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? All right, so the reason why I didn't feel confident doing a makeup tutorial is because I feel like, you know, there's such a strong emphasis on perfection and clean lines when you're doing makeup. And I feel like makeup is very individual. So, like, I feel like there's different ways to do makeup. And for me, when I do my makeup, I don't really dwell on things being perfect. I like to just go with the flow and allow the makeup to just speak for itself. So I'm just going to buff that. Just in my crease area, just like that. So now he's in the, and now he's in the kitchen, right? So basically he's in the kitchen and his, you know, he's making me blush. He takes notice to it. And I'm like, you can place the pie on the, um, the island. I want, um, a vegan, like vegan tacos right now with my lemon pepper corn, um, that I want to do on the grill and, you know, my avocado, uh, my avocado salad. So he was like, mm, interesting. And I was like, oh, this is the time that I'm supposed to, like, offer you to stay for dinner, right? If, like, this was a movie. And he was like, if this was a movie, this would be the time. He was like, I would say so. This would be the time where you would ask me to 
stay over for dinner or maybe I insert myself awkwardly and then it forces you to invite me over for dinner. And we're having like this very cheeky exchange and it feels sort of odd and I forget that I'm awkwardly dressed and I was like, okay, on one condition, I'll put everything on pause, but at least let me change it to a sensible outfit if you're going to stay over for dinner and at least let me light the candles in the dining room and pull out the good china like if this is going to be a movie moment let's really make it a full movie moment and he was like okay uh, okay fair i was like do you have a curfew like what's your situation he was like i don't have a curfew we're good and you have me for as long as you want me because you have me very intrigued and i was like stop acting like you're trying to get to me or whatever and he was like get to you and I was like, oh, you have so much to learn. You don't even know what you got yourself into. I was like, I'm about to go change or whatever the case may be. You just wait right here. So basically, I ran upstairs and I put on this luxurious silk robe that was like, you saw, you see those robes that have like the feathers and it's mad long and drapey or whatever. So I have one of those on, right? Okay, so I'm like in this shape. I'm going to do the other eye. So I had that robe on and I came downstairs. I put on a color mascara and a color liner. And I came downstairs after I judged my hair and I put on my little Fenty bomb so that my body could be a little glittery. Glittery, glitterly, glitter, glittery, 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 glittery. There you go. I wanted my body to be a little glittery and this, then, and third. So then I come back down the stairs and he's like, when you said change, I didn't know what to expect. But now seeing you in that outfit, I feel like this is you, even though I don't know you. And I was like, that's a random thing to say, but continue on. Please elaborate on that. And then he was like, well, you did say you were going to cook those tacos and the lemon pepper corn. I'm interested in that, in it now. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to start cooking and you start talking. So when now we're talking back and forth and we're talking about everything. And basically, like, the reason why he has that bunny, right, is because he had a sister that he lost when they were young because she had sick and she passed from whatever. Right? She passed. It was like a tragic story or whatever the case may be. And she always wanted one of those big bunnies or whatever the case may be. So he has a bunny in honor of her. And that's why he had that bunny and this and the third. He sold businesses. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how to explain it. He sold businesses and he sold ideas. He sold ideas and businesses, if that makes any sense. And um, he basically broke it down to me or whatever the case would be. And he explained to me that he was, he was 34. He was 34. And um, he had a mom and a dad. And he had his sister. He's, he's the only child now. And they're a little overbearing. So he had to move away. And honestly, he really loves nature and stuff like that. And he just likes to do a lot of like, Whatever, whatever the case would be, we were having a really good conversation. I cooked, I put the food in front of him. We ate, we spoke, you know, I offered him wine. He had a glass of white wine um, because, you know, even though you don't drink alcohol, you should always offer somebody something if they, just in case if they do. And I made him a Tom Collins. I remember that. I made him a Tom Collins and we retired to the living language like i was giving him body language i was giving him this i was giving him that this that and a third and he was like i have to give he was like i have to be transparent with you my heart dropped my heart dropped because i was like why would he use the word transparent why would he use the word transparent right he was like i have to be transparent with you and i was like my heart dropped and i was like okay transparent what do you have to tell me? He was like, there was rumors about somebody moving into this house and I kind of did some snooping and I'm going to be honest with you. I have your Vogue covers in my house. I was like, you have my Vogue covers in your house? 
I was like, so you knew it was me. I was like, how did you know it was me? He takes off his jacket and in his pocket, there's the fabric that was torn from my dress. And he was like, this is the dress that you wore in Vogue Italia. And I was like, you know that this is from the dress that I wore on the cover of Vogue Italia? He was like, I could tell. And I was like, okay, so are you a little bit of a stalker? He was like, no, but honestly, I found you an inspiration and I can't believe you live right next to me. And I was like, wow, so you know everything about me. You know all the craziness. You know all of the ups and downs. You've no research about me and I know absolutely nothing about you except that you brought a wild berry pie and now we've had a beautiful conversation. I fed you. We're sitting in my living room and now you tell me that you know all about me? Well, well, you acting real mixy. You acting real mixy. I feel like you set me up. And I'm like, I think we're going to call this night short right now because I feel some type of way. He was like... Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Like, we were having such a good time. This, that, and a third. And. All right. I'm just. I just feel like this needs to be a little rounder. All right. So, this is where I'm staying, right? This is this is basically where I'm staying, right? So, he was like, please, you know, this and a third. Um, I. I um I feel like I know you already and I was like, well, you don't know me, so I'm gonna need you to leave because I feel some type of way or whatever the case may be. So I kicked him out the house, right? I kicked him out the house and I, I sent him out. And the next morning I wake up bright and early to a ring on my door, right? A ring on my door and I'm looking like I'm looking like, okay, so who's ringing on my door this early in the morning? I go downstairs and it's a delivery of a bouquet of flowers, right? So I'm like, oh my God. So I open the note and it's of course from Charles. And I'm like, and he's apologizing this time and third, telling him to give him a chance. I pay the delivery man money and I give him a note with the back of the same postcard he sent me in the flowers where I was like, no thanks, but thank you. These flowers are lovely. And I gave him money and I told him, can you please deliver that next door? So whatever, boom. I don't know why I did that because that incited him. And every hour on the hour, I kept on getting flowers sent to my door from Charles until I agreed to at least talk to him so that he can apologize. And I said, well, this apology feels very forced. And the fact that you're like using this as an intimidation plot to try to get me to answer you is really, really manipulative. And I don't know if this is the right approach. I get, I see where this could be romantic, but I also could see how this is being like very assertive of your dominance. And I don't know if I like that a little bit or if I don't like it, but I think I like it secretly. And that's why even though I'm frustrated, I'm entertaining it. And I'm going to let these flowers come and let's see how long you last. Three days later, this man was still sending me flowers every hour on the hour. And I was like, ew, he is really about that life. Why is he really trying to boo me up right now? And I was living the whole fantasy. And I was like, okay, I'll admit it. Your wild berry pie was quite delicious. Would you like to come over to make ice cream? I have enough for two slices. If we make our ice cream fresh, I think that it will be really good on top of the pie and we can talk about what you want to talk about. So I invited him over for pie. This video is too long. It's already 49 minutes. It's already 49 minutes. Let me finish the makeup look. I'm not going to finish the story. Oh, YouTube is never going to give me my accolades. 
let me stop putting negativity youtube is going to be like girl you hold the record of longest views on a long video in youtube history so i'm going to take a flat tip brush with the pink and i'm going to go underneath my waterline and connect it See that? <laughs> so listen, right? You need to hear the end of the dream? All right, so uh, I'll tell you guys. It gets a little, uh, I'll tell you, so whatever. So listen, I knew I was going to make him pay for what he did, right? For like leading me on and this, that, and the third. So I was going to put him to work. So what I knew, what I did was, is that I basically, I knew I was going to make ice cream, right? I had a basic recipe with like Madagascar vanilla beans, like everything. So I went and I got delivered by Postmate a big chunk of ice and an ice pick and a mallet, right? So he comes over and I let him in and I'm like, okay, so I need you to help me with a couple of things to make this ice cream. Um, he was like, I, I was like, I need you to help me with a couple of things to make this ice cream. He was like, oh, you were serious about making ice cream. I was like, yeah, I have enough for two, two slices. Like I wanted with ice cream. I really want to enjoy it. And then I was like, I, it would be better to hear you out with something sweet in my mouth. And he was like, and my pie is pretty sweet, right? And I was like, whatever. I walked into that, whatever. Come inside the house, whatever. I don't even care, right? So I was like, there's a block of ice right there. And I need you to pick up that block of ice and bring it to the sink so that you can chip the ice fresh from this block of ice so that we can get ice cubes to put in the little shaker so that we can turn the ice cream so he was like don't you have an ice maker on your fridge and i was like i do but i feel like just getting it from a solid chunk of ice just makes the whole ice cream that much better right so he's like okay so he picks up the block of ice like it's nothing on and when it was like in this little bag with a handle he picks it up puts it on his back he goes into the kitchen. He plops it into the sink. He unravels it. He's like, do you have an ice pick and a mallet? And I was like, you've done this before? He's like, I do carvings. It's sort of the same concept. And I was like, you do carvings? He was like, yeah, I have, uh, I'm a man of a lot of trades. And I was like, oh, well, you're going to have to let me know some of those trades. So let me buff this color in. So now that basically my eyeballs look like a mask, basically, that's what it looks like. That's, that's the shape that I went for, essentially. Oh my God, did I not bring the liner? Oh, I'm going to take my pink liner. So he comes in the kitchen. He starts, I hand him the ice chipper and the mallet. He starts cha, 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 chopping the ice. And I start to see his arm definition in his shirt. And I'm like, oh my God. I've never seen a man chip away at ice, make make it look so sexy. I stood there with my um, I stood there with my um, I stood there with my um, you got me distracted with your comment. I stood there with my mouth open in the dream, and I was like, 
oh my god so whatever so i remember being mesmerized and he caught me from the corner of his eye and he was like you're enjoying the view and i was like we're not talking about that i just need the ice so we can make this ice cream so i started getting all the ingredients ready or whatever the case may be he was like yo the ice cream isn't even made and it smells real good and i was like i like my ice cream to have a lot of flavor if i'm gonna make vanilla ice cream i want that vanilla to really really come across and i really like it to screech and i was like he asked me he was like oh is it the vanilla with the vanilla bean seeds in it and i was like is there any other vanilla unless it has vanilla bean seeds in it? Like, what are you talking about? I was like, this isn't my first run at making ice cream or whatever the case may be. So he starts chipping away the ice. He puts it in the machine and then I start making the ice cream. And I was like, all right, so shoot, talk to me. He was like, okay, you looking at this as a negative and I'm seeing this as a positive. I'm seeing this as the universe brought you here out of all the houses you could have bought out of every other state in the whole entire world out of every other part in the world you could have lived in you moved right next to me i've been a fan of yours and it's not even a fan i am just i admire your resiliency and i was like and so much that you've accomplished and i was like all right maybe you could keep going or whatever and he was like, don't you see this? I think this is the universe answering my prayers. I finally get to ask you out on a date. And I was like, a date? depends what did you have in mind it's a surprise and i'm like oh now he wants a surprise how did i go from i was about to x him out of my life because he was acting creepy to now i'm intrigued and i want to go on a date with him let me tell you something he was like actually how about tomorrow morning i know you like to wake up early and go for your walk how about tomorrow morning I show you a, one of my favorite spots? And I was like, okay. So boom. Basically, let me put on this liner because this dream goes on because, all right. Oh, so listen, let me tell you my secret. Hold on. So this is how I be getting my dreams to be mad long, right? This is a technique I use to get my dreams to be long. I go to bed and I start to think about like a fantasy, right? I start to think about a fantasy. It could be a house. It could be a location. It could be a goal of mine, right? And I get so excited about it, right? That it's almost like, oh, I'm getting too excited. I'm not going to be able to sleep. But then I go to sleep and then I allow that final thought to propel and just create a dream honestly I, it's so, it's so weird it, i don't know how to explain it but before i go to bed i think about just something that inspires me and i get excited about it then i go to sleep and then my dreams just create this whole new thing right so I don't know what you call that or whatever the case may be, but that's how I get my dreams to be longer. I don't know how to explain it because I have a lot of nightmares, right? I have a lot of nightmares and I like to at least start my nights with a dream that's good before the nightmare comes because I constantly have like reoccurring nightmares. So I know my nightmares already. I know, I know which ones are coming but I try to remember the positive ones that come before the nightmares or whatever the case may be. Um, so basically the next morning he's ready for a hike and I'm putting on my um, Louis Vuitton high arch sneakers. I'm going full glam. I'm looking so cute. And basically, basically you're just going to create a regular wing liner with pink. When I put on my liner, I can't really talk. I'm sorry. What's lucid dream? What's a lucid dream?
You see that? That was exactly how I did my makeup yesterday. All right, so listen. So basically, like, we went on this hiking trail, and on the type of the hiking trail was a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon. And it was the hot air balloon with all the things. And he was like, this is our date. And I was like, what? You expect me to get on this hot air balloon? And he was like, yeah, I expect you to get on this hot air balloon with me. And he grabbed me by the hand and he pulled me onto there and he held me from the back and he put me in front of the basket and he pulled the thing. And I was like, you're driving this hot air balloon he was like i have my license don't worry it's up on the basket and i look over and it has a picture of him and it's his license his pilot license for the hot air balloon and we go up up into the mountains over the forest and everything and i'm scared and he's holding me tight the whole entire time and i'm like and it was honestly breathtaking because we saw the sun, like the sunrise and everything over the trees. And it was beautiful and it took my breath away and I was scared the whole time. But he held me the whole time and it was amazing. It was amazing. And then finally he landed down and when he landed down, we were in this open field. And in the open field was a table and on the table there was a spread. Like, there was, like, um, flatbreads, there was fresh fruit, there was cheeses, there was crackers, there was everything you can think of. And we had lunch after we landed from the hot air balloon, and he was like, I wanted to make the first day special for you. And he kissed me. It was such a beautiful dream. It was such a beautiful dream. You know that we got married. We got married and we had a daughter named Lindsay. We had a daughter named Lindsay Joy and we had a son named I named him, I don't want to say his name just in case. So basically, we had a son, a daughter, and we had two dogs, and it was beautiful. So this is the final makeup look. The only things left to do is to take your mascara. I know, I do have some pink in my curls, but I'm gonna just leave it. Hopefully nothing happens to me when I go outside like this, hopefully. I'm a little scared, guys. I don't know if I should go outside like this. You know? I got the mirror from the House of Wellness. I got all of this from the House of Wellness. Mm. 
All right, guys. So I have a very busy day. I'm glad that I had an amazing 65 minutes and 41 second long video. And until next time, bendiciones. And um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> what does that mean? I have a lot of things coming. I hope things go as planned as well. I love you.